But what do you guys think about the new... The qualifier game three between it's a game two between Warriors. After motion to conquer, X Nova on the bin, Velo playing on the Doom, Miracle on Razor with Fear on the Mirana Dire side, another smoke up as well from both. DNC Sam H on the Omni Knight, Raven on the CK, Cuckoo on the Terrorblade 1437 on the AA. You have Tim's playing on the Tuscar. So very nice line, very, very, very organized. They're walking into the jungle, placing it down. Both teams are actually going to be juking each other. Thirty seconds to battle. Right, so Warriors Gaming, Firo actually gonna get himself two bounty runes, I believe. The battle begins. Oh never mind, Miracle gets one as well. They were actually looking to run an aggressive lane, I believe. Since they did run Miracle into the off lane. Unless he decides to TP. Velo's not TPing as well, they're just waiting for the creeps as well. But now you know neutral creeps spawn only after a minute. Omni Knight's gonna actually suck. Rat. So, wave after which kind of miracles TP straight to the bottom as well. He would do pretty decent for himself. You're very on the fence. We're getting the new unstable current. Okay, Stag thing comes out. Sam H. None of his damage, you know. Early on, the base damage, even for 20, it seems like very little, but it's actually a lot. Look. Yeah, bottom lane, they actually almost kill Sam H. Can they get the kill? X Nova doesn't have a brain sap just yet. They're running after him. He's a torrent. I would mind game him. Duke. Duke? <laughs> Bang! They actually get the Torian. Yes, it will connect. First blood to Aphromush. X Nova gets it. Good job playing with the spell cast animation. All right. So top lane, Velo still trying to get his way to boots. Kuka going for the level one metamorphosis and level two in the reflection. It's zoning out Sam H very hard. Not giving him a good time. Together in a Raven and 1437, I'm playing on a CK and Ancient Apparition mid. Something I haven't spoken of yet. 10 to 6 to the 4 and 1 on Fero. He can't get too close. Cold, you know, chilling touch with the heavy right clicks on the CK and Reality Rift. You melt. And right now, chilling touch has been buffed as well. It doesn't nerf your attack speed anymore. And Afro Mush is going to take that Illusion Rune away from the Omni Knight. Velo, of course, for now, if they, you know, if Tim's leaves this. Terribly alone, Velo can actually do a lot of things in this lane, inappropriate things. He has the score still. I mean, look at Tim's. You don't want to stand up against this hero. Now, you don't want to stand up against this hero. You have to snowball, but still. Rough, t rough game, you know. Tranquils this game. To what I know, go going for pull off first, or do you want to go into like face boots? You know, I feel like face boots would be pretty good this game. Get up the one for the bit of region, also in case he casts any spells. I feel much still just AFK under the tower. But oh, Tim's, you want to be careful here. Velo is going to try to commit for this kill. Shot 
Could burn him down. Yep, he's gonna burn. No ball away. Velocis. Nope. Come here, boy. Come here. Get it, man. Get it. Come on. Chase him. Never mind. Gives up. Oh, that's sad. It's a good, sh good job with the shards. No. Yeah, and the Doom gets one more level into the Scorch stuff. It's gonna be extremely hard. But over in the bottom lane, Sam Page in for some trouble. The right click. Do they want to chase with this? No, they can't. Needed the torrent land, and then they would have got themselves a quick kill. You know, Mirana's just back to the jungle immediate. Versus quite a fair bit. 14 to 1 to the 25 and 13 on Raven. Can he cannot lane against the sea? Whoosh. Yeah, I think he wants to get more points into the X mark ASAP so that he can it's easier for him to set up some kills. Alright, okay, getting that. That was overwatch taken care of. So Sam Mage will now have to play in constant fear. He can't get too close to the creep wave. So this is a big win for Jabami. Jabami. Up from Afro Moosh. Bane. Will they find to put the ward down? Being the AA. This, who do you even jump on first? Seven, I assume? Top lane as well, oh, going for a bit of a gank here onto Velo. But with Scorch stuff, he's actually going to be okay. Juking around, he has the raindrop. But the damage from the illusion though almost brings him down a little low enough. Trying to get the kill here onto one for three seven. Star Storm, one more right click. Fira gets himself a nice kill. And just nicely, they can actually even go to the shrine. They could think about going back in. X Nova is thinking about setting up for Raven one more time. Velo using his shrine already, just messing around with Tim's. You know, Infernal Blade's a very strong spell, but over in the middle, Infero might actually end up dying here. The leap away has to sell if he's gonna be okay. Getting away on 7 HP, 6 stuff. Very close call. And this is where you see the synergy with Chilling Touch and level 2 Reality Rift. Don't forget, armor reduction is so high for the spell. Foreign. X mark as well, they will use it. Pulling X Nova into the bot of that ravine. Omni Knight as well looking for the heal. The arrow X Nova is going to be okay. He has another brain sap. Could think about using it here onto one of these heroes, but he doesn't want to get too close just in case the reality ray falls on off cooldown. Sam is going to get spotted up by Afro Mush one more time. And a forced rotation means Miracle gets a free lane, but over in the top, you know, Velo, he's going to work here onto Cuckoo, chasing him inside the trees. He knows he's going to follow him. Get the Doom out as well. And yeah, that's going to be a solo kill here, but could be looking for a deny. Tim's. Fighting for the deny, should be getting the deny here. Never mind, Velo with the Scorch stuff just in the nick of time, and Tim's will not be getting that one crucial deny. So with the first Doom getting a big kill, Velo is happy with that one, especially onto a call on the carry hero. For the setup, you know, Pharaoh's losing in CS 23, half the CS of Raven. Bane coming in, they're looking for Tim's. They know that Cuckoo doesn't have metamorphosis, not for a while at least. Gonna chase him down. Do they don't want to chase with this? No, they don't. The so three and no warriors gaming are looking much stronger this time, at least on the draft. Now that they got some of the trait of the comfort heroes. So three first get the level two X mark. Here it just packs a, a bit of exp. Top lane, you know. This is why you don't trade trade hits with infernal blade. This spell. For 16 second cooldown, but the percentage damage is actually really strong. In from Afro Moosh, but this ward will scout it out. It will be forced to just kind of retreat, play a more passive position. Where's the Marana? Uh, still level three, but three kills in you know at seven minutes. Teams very disciplined in how they want to approach this game. Miracles was looking for the static link, still 28 damage, but that's about it. He's actually chosen to go for the max static link build. Rough game, man. Together with Bilo, they have the Doom of Colon in 25 seconds. Then they can perhaps try to pressure this terribly a bit more. You can see he's actually gone to jungling, picked up the Colon Blade. Because he knows that if he gets too close to the lane, he's just going to get set up together with the Nightmare into Torn into Doom. 
No snowball is gonna save you for that long. Well, it's our next Nova puts a sentry down. No, he has a nightmare. Yep. But he's gonna try and run away from this. Korea's on the way, X Nova. He will get stunned by the snowball. Ends up going down to Cuckoo. Doom is used into the Chaos Knight. They wanna try and chase him down. Do they have the arrow? They leap forward for the Chaos Knight. Can they get, can get the kill here? Reflection to slow everyone down. Raven's actually gonna be okay. Velo can't get this kill. He's gonna try and chase after him. 1437 just looking around for the deny, but Jabami getting Tim's already. So support is dying in their place. Raven and Dumo have expired. They're gonna try and stun him up. But they're gonna chase after him. They have the secondary Star Storm. Leap around, look at it. And actually, will get the second Star Storm. Yes, he will get the kill. Velo getting 1437 as well. Chasing after Cuckoo. It's caught between four WG heroes and with four heroes dead. Warriors Gaming find themselves an abysmal advantage from the 4 for 1 trade with a thousand gold swing. Much better this game. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Now they can start to pressure this top tier 1. Sam H, however, going to work here onto the Bane who misses their purification heal. Together with Tim's, perhaps they could actually try for a kill here. Dyer's top tower is under attack. The top tier one is definitely about to fall since they have the Alpha Wolf. Extra damage, you know, Aura Gaming, best gaming. Chasing after the Bane here, going for the Snowball play onto X Nova. They have the Nightmare if he needs to use it. He's gonna Nightmare up the Omni Knight. This is where they can definitely try to turn around here, get a couple of rack clicks in. There goes the Static Link. Samage is gonna try and run away from this, but it's gonna take as much damage as he can. Razor, wow, that damage. Ooh, one more hit. Looking for the X Mark there. Actually caught someone up. It's gonna be the Tusk Guard. Tusk is gonna torrent it up into the air. It looks like he will end up dying to the right click of Jabami. Stole 140 damage. He's strong. Warriors gaming looking good, but TNT will look for the response. This is the play they need, needed to make. They have two illusions. Who will they kill here, though? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. All right, chasing out here for Afromoosh. Easy kill here. Afromoosh will get frozen, torn to try and save him with the nightmare as well. But it's okay. Now, of course, they get the over for the snowball in. X Nova. Jubami, does he want to use any spells here? Ice Blast coming in. X Nova will get clipped, but it's okay. He will end up dying trying for the plasma field. Velo is here as well. It's a fresh new Shadow Blade, I believe. Actually, no, hold on. What was that? Was it an Invisrin? But he has Doom in a bit. Raven should end up dying here. Will go down to Miracle. Does he know that Tim's is in the trees? Velo slowly burning him down. He's found Tim's chasing after him. Snowball away to the creeps. They have vision on him. Getting him to the creep wave and they will anticipate it going for the creeps. And Tim's will end up dying down to both Jabami and Velo. This way, two heroes dead. Warriors gaming him. Definitely picking up some serious momentum here. It'll go straight for a tier 1 tower. Samhitch farming up the top lane, perhaps to complete that Midas or whatever items you may decide to go for. While well, all of that was happening, you know, Firo just Raven's pushing out the mid, free farming, so he's trying to catch up. But the cores of TNC are still quite fat. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Right, so I feel like they need to play around this Omni Knight at this point, Raven's so they can get him a slightly better advantage. There it is. Used to do one to Raven. You have the X mark as well. You're not. You're not running anywhere. Where are you going? Ice Blast coming in, landing onto two. Miracle should we end up dying here? The Nightmare saving him from the tower so he doesn't take too much damage. He's actually going to be okay. Wow. They get the tier one tower. Hello. Fero with the haste win, he was trying to go for 1 for 3-7, looks like he may end up finding Sam Hage, torrented up into the air, what a play! Sam Hage. okay, never mind, he is repelled up. That'll be the end of that story, but Warriors Gaming are taking tier 1 towers much quicker than the previous game, than they were supposed to, and this is the kind of play style that they were hoping to play around. But I want to see more Omni Knight Sam Hage stuff. Bottom lane, they will try for a bit of a push together with the Terror Blade. Yasha on the way. Illusion Gaming, not that strong at this point for now. Once you get a couple more items, once they tank up, that's where I feel they can do so much damage. 
Radiant structures are fortified. They will chase for the tier one tower bottom lane. Be able to get it too. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. All right, easy tower. Now they want to try for a loop around in the middle lane. Are we thinking about it? Time hitch wings. I like those. I like those Omni Knight wings. I have to admit, look very nice. Tim's and Cole. Creating the enemy jungle. Can, will they find any hero? Miracle is coming in. Perhaps. Item. What's his next item? Yasha. Dungeon Yasha, perhaps? Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Get him? Dyer's top tower is under attack. I don't think so. I I, I don't think they get the miracle kill that Radiance easily here. Tower is under attack. They do have a, quite a lot of nice wards over in the enemy jungle. That's a good thing for them. Tim getting his wards up. CK after Almond actually going into the Echo Saber. The wages of fear. Invisibility. Right, so. Up into three and They're just trying to get some. What's this? Some damage control at least. They pop the Phantasm, they're going straight for X Nova. That's a big commitment. Two ultimates use Phantasm and Ice Blast. Rihanna, you know. Not sure how I feel. Oh, Arrow coming, connecting onto Raven, and he's gonna be dead for sure. The Repel's gonna save him with the Guardian Angel as well. Can they kill the CK? Tons of damage flying out. Static Link is gonna be there as well. And Guardian Angel gone. Looks like, can they deny Raven? 1 for 3, 7. Will he go for the deny here? Going to the shrine, can make it in time? I don't think so. He pops the stick charges. The one charges, he's gonna be okay. But they do get the Omni Knight kill. Not the big kill. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Pharaoh, he will know that the shrine was used. Doom wasn't, so CK wasn't killed. Trying to think of fighting here. The Chilling Touch looking for the Chaos Ball. It will land onto the Marana who leaped away in the nick of time. Actually opting to go for the magic build. Tims is just pushing at the side lane, so is the Terror Blade. Cuckoo will go back to jungling, trying to complete his Manta style. At this point, WG is just mostly there on the clock. T and C are looking still pretty decent, I feel. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Gotta love the wings, right? I read a Reddit thread a while ago about this guy, about this dude who was like 2k MMR or something, but he was always playing the game from this perspective, and he had the the best maps like maps awareness, but he wasn't able to CS properly. He missed like half his CS or more. I've actually wondered how do you play Dota from this perspective? Like, can you imagine playing Dota from a first person perspective? I would probably get a migraine, like the the biggest migraine into life. Now they want to take this tier 1 tower in mid. Do they have the heroes to deal with it? I mean, they have the ghost ship. Arrows flying out. Ooh, that one was narrow. But they're bringing in everybody. They want to contest this. Miracle's not yet TPing in. They don't have a fortification anymore. And this would be a tier 1 tower to fall for free. Looking for the pickoffs. Afro Mush is kind of lurking around. They'll pop the Moonlight Shadow, but there's a sentry there. Immediate getting out. Miracle as well, trying to loop around. Might even find the flank of Sam H. Yes, he gets the croc. Sam H, can he right click him down? Almost. Woo. A bit more right click, he would have killed him right there. They want to trade their own trade. Get to get to power. They could take the middle and the top. Miracle will get hit by the ice blast. Yeah, I think he's okay to take the tower with that plus 112 damage. Take the tier 2, maybe. Hello? More of ball and Sanji Yasha and Miracle. What's the one to right click? Raven's still trying to compete. She has the Ogre Club. Cuckoo. Dyer's top trying to save up towards their Manta Star recipe. They do lose two tier two towers. Hunter go flying into the WG economy. But like I said, you know, TNC. They have the Doom. Bang, with the Fiend script being used, they won't need to use the Doom. And down he goes. Pharaoh getting the kill of the Starfall. 
is a great conductor. Oh, mighty money. Woman. I know it's weird. Are you Marana? When I'm with you, stars seem to fall. Uh, <laughs> and someone needs to start up like that Reddit thread again on Dota 2 pickup lines. Like the next Macho Man contest at like in the middle of Masters or something. I don't. I want to see like those contests always seem to make me laugh. Don't get me wrong. Cyclops has like the best pickup lines. MPGL like what three years ago or something. He was like, "If well, are you a camera? Because every time I see you, I smile." Oh. Yeah, they're, they're very, very fun pickup lines. Good creative content, right? Creative content right there. And Michael Loris was like, I have a refresher orb. I can ravage you. Twice. Whoa! Michael Loris. Afro Moosh looking for DX mark. He's found. Alright, torrented up into the air. Getting some right clicks out into Sam Hage. But the snowball player will come out onto the left side onto Velo. Ice Blast is coming in as well. I was going to completely miss. Ice Blast was to connect to Velo and he will die. Looking for the ghost ship landing onto two on both the Tims and the Cuckoo. But the Thunder comes up onto Fero. So Fero should actually end up dying here. Tims is going to chase after him. But Jabami has too much damage. Afro Moosh finishing him off. And 1 for 3 for 7 to follow to Dr. Miracle. Sam is going for the purification nuke. And Miracle getting caught into the clip with Raven. X Nova. Raven having some alone time up top, and actually looks like Fear will end up dying to Tibbs while Raven will finish off Exnova. And now they're gonna look for a bit more, trying to find Aphromoosh, she's gonna try and TP on into the trees. They have the stun, and full team wipe as they get a 5 for 2 trade. Raven with the triple, and now he will get a blink dagger. 2.8k gold swing. Raven has turned it around completely for Warriors Gaming, as if for TNC. Alright, so 2.2k net worth. Tim's can buy a Blink Dagger. He can go for a Midas. Whatever his heart desires. Omni Knight. Healing and harm. Yeah, Miracle dying there was such a big thing because he gave away so much gold. Give it he gave it to Raven. Raven the triple already, so it means he earned like over a thousand gold from that fight. And now he almost has a blink. Fero going into a Sanja Yasha. Terrible is a Manta style. Next item, Hurricane Pike. I mean, just clear indicators of how this game is evolving right now at this point. Grinding up. I mean, Terrible is fat, right? Especially now that agility gives you movement speed. Blast. Ooh, be low. That one is close. Without the Ice Blast, perhaps they can try and look to take a fight here. Shadow Bait, he's going in. He's looking for he's looking for the AA. But bottom lane, they have some different issues. Fero needs to get out. Fero needs to get out. No, he will not. He could have leaped away. Further away, I feel. Maybe even the triple leap. Right, so 15 to 10. And all that, that gold lead which Warriors Gaming had is now completely gone. TNC. Very eager to win that rematch. Got it. Do me because holy cow! Okay. <laughs> Credits for that one. I'm gonna give it to you. Not like this. I might. All right. So cuckoo's dragon lance already completed. Red things look a bit tricky, but Miracle, hold on. Getting caught out here by Raven. They have the Phantoms as well. Moonlight Shadow. They pop the dust. Miracle's still on the run. Together with the Mask of Madness, he's actually really fast. He, out. he turns. Ooh, he cancelled the TP. But he don't F up there, man. Gus, still trying to build his way into the go ship struggling to find any levels this game or much impact with the ganks but this will be a road gold swing Vero will find one snipe which is one for three seven 
Mark, they found they found terribly caught up at the Torrent. But Omni Knight's behind, so he's gonna be okay. Oh, still waiting for the BB. The plate mill will have to wait for a bit until the little so. Oh, this is this is suddenly changed into one the extremely intense game. I thought Warriors Gaming actually had an advantage, a big advantage, but in this case, it's an inch. Now they've extended that. Alright. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So they will start to group up together, take the push, push, push. Not that a Roshan attempt could Raven's be happening, but it looks like WG attack. could consider trying to steal it for themselves. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Yeah, they will together with Miracle, who has a BKB complete now. Try and do this using the illusion who had vision on it. Ice Pass coming in. Oh, clipping the WG heroes. They have to be careful. The TPs are coming in. TNT can still make it in time. This Roshan is not falling quick enough. Popping the Phantasm. They want to go back in. Roshan's very low. They put the sentry down. Velo is there. He's been spotted out by Raven. He's going to get a right click down. The Nightmare is safe, but Velo will end up going down. This is where they're trying to fight. 1437. We're going once more to Fiero looking for the ship. Can they kill Raven? Nova. Nova might actually end up dying in the buyback out from the Doom. They need to right, they need to kill Raven. But over the back, Miracle cornered by the shards. Miracle! He actually will die here. Oh dear. And just like that, TNC. Pharaoh looking for the arrow play. Gonna bump into the Aegis. Pharaoh's dead. The sentry is there as well. Looking for the leap. Can he get the Aegis? Pharaoh gets it with the Dire kill, with the Roshan kill as well. And with the Doom together onto Kuku, they're gonna try and fight this Pharaoh if he dies one more time. He actually may end up dying here. We're looking for the Torrent save from Afro Moosh. The Guardian Aegis is gonna come out. Fear has to run. And together with Tim's Fear, we'll actually end up getting... Ooh, okay. That's a nice kill. Warriors Punch. Oh dear, Fiero doesn't have anything else. And he will... It will be a teammate with a dieback onto Velo. What a play it was to take the Aegis. It may have bought them some time. The CK and this Terrible are getting extremely fat. And terribly, it's going into a Lincoln's very soon. He's going to have it in about 800 gold. This game has taken a nightmare turn for Warriors Gaming and TNC. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Oh, one seven. Still very poor at AA. I mean, playing the pause five AA, right? Just getting the EXP. That 60 GPM will eventually pay off, I hope. Butterfly coming out next for Miracle. Radiant's top tower is under attack. I mean, I remember the good old days when Ra He needs a way to break the Lincolns at this point. Velo bought up. Gold is a great conductor. Ah, he committed so much. Okay. Top lane. All of us still trying to build into a gem. Talk about the vision. You see, you see, put two sentries here. This part. Really messed around so hard. It was just right outside of range of each other. Huh. Now, what else is there? 
Rana is taking care of the creep wave ASAP. The thing about this Aghanim Scepter build, I feel, is just that it takes too long to come online. It's a great farming thing. It's not good for fighting after all those nerfs. Like a Diffusal Blade could have helped a lot more. Maelstrom, Maelnir, something to deal... The right click better to deal with the illusions, you know? Starstorm technically can. The Ethereal Blade, the follow-up damage afterwards, is just not as reliable as having some good right click. Very stuff, and now he's gonna know that Cuckoo has a Lincoln Sphere. Damage running to the top as well. Dom Sanji Yasha. And then movement speed together with the face boost is quite hot. 518 movement speed. Le Balanced hero, ladies and gentlemen. Le Balanced. Alright, so Tuscar level 22. 300 snowball speed. Oh, he didn't go for the Warriors Punch crit. What is he? Oh, he's definitely he should definitely be going for the six minus six seconds ice shots cooldown. It's gonna be pretty big together with Guardian's Gre Guardian Greaves, you know. He's not going for right click. If he wanted to go for more damage, he would have gone for the Warriors Punch crit. The snowball speed is so fast; it helps him push out waves quicker. Top towers under attack. All ones will break. Got it. Oh dear, will they find ancient apparition here? The ghost ship coming out is big, but Aphromush has already been taken care of. And now it's been a one for one trade. Both supports dying on either side. Raven looking for the reality rift. Jabami is going to use the BKB. He's going to try and run out from this. He's going to run away this time. Run, Miracle, run. Don't ever look back. They'll tear you apart. Popping his way to the shrine on the way. He's going to run now. Further on, but it's okay. They found a Warriors Punch. They found X Nova looking for the Snowball as well. Rami, Fiend Script. They want to try and turn this around. I'm not sure if this is the play. The purification is that he's stolen a ton of damage. Maybe thinking about right clicking here onto Sam H. X Nova. All right, never mind. Sam H. Just right click X Nova down and with the Doom together to take the Omni Knight. And that's the gem on the floor. Going the way to Sam H. Arrow connects into Terrible. Do they have enough damage here? Jabami, this is a very awkward fight. The shards almost blocks them off. Looking for the Snowball as well. Going into Miracle. Raven trying to get the stun off here. Vila walking in the front line. Fear there with the double Star Storm. Will it be enough? Wait for the third one? No, it will not. But Tim's should end up dying. Hit the right click trying to zone himself. Trying to corner himself up, but he actually won't. Now getting the stun out. Raven is on the hunt. They're on the run. Jabami is on the hunt. Looking for the static link one more time. He's actually going to blink away. Cuckoo has the double damage. Where's it going to go? Hitting the creeps. Not sure where it's going wrong. Arrow definitely not to my heart. That's for sure. And Miracle are going to keep on running. No, just disengage. But pretty big fight over there. Two for one trade as TNC. Overextending way too much. And Warriors Gaming finding themselves a bit of breathing space. Alright, so this game is this game is not disappointing for sure. Warriors gaming are fighting as hard as they can. Clean this out. They're gonna try and force a buyback out from the Tuscar if possible. Miracle's very close to a butterfly. Vera could actually think about going for a sneaky pick off here onto 1437. Pop the Moonlight Shadow, they're gonna try and cut them off. Use a scan plasma. Further to the left. Arrow. Oh, actually connects. What a play here from Fiero. Another put down. They even put the ward down as well. So no ice blast. This could be pretty bad. He has no buyback. The Tuscar shards up. Uh, you never know. You know, this was a defensive ward. He just wanted to get some good vision away from them. Good for juking. Kuku now can go into more. Completing the Hurricane Pike at long last. Aphromush has found him. Pinging out as well. This is the Tims versus Afro. So Firo wants to complete that. And Afro Mush going into a four. Yeah, Vila one. Yeah, Silver's Edge. I actually wondered. No, it's not Silver's Edge this game. It's nothing. Shiva's God, maybe? Or do you want to. Dyer's bottom There'll be a bit of downtime, at least for both teams to farm up the next items. Butterfly already done. The Mask of Madness will translate into a Satanic next. Going to a.
Okay, so Fair Lincoln's already done. This is where the magic Mirana, once you commit to it, you go. Now that his damage will start to amplify a lot more, his farming speed has increased ever since the eggs, and this way he can build into the Ethereal Blade soon. He already has a de one defensive item, which means it'll be quite hard to lock this, this pussycat down, you know. Now going for the five man smoke gank. See where TNT decide to go. They have a ward to the top lane. They know that Fero is there. Can catch the Doom. They spot the Doom out. They know that he's alone. He is the much easier. It makes it makes sense to go for the Doom. He has no buyback. He is the easier kill. Velo, run, dude, run. Shadow blades away. Senses the danger. He doesn't want to show near the creeper. If the creeper is pushing in for good reason. Not a coincidence. Look at all those pings. Bing, 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 bing. Yep, reflection's gonna be used. They take care of the creep wave as well. I mean, more notifications on this map than my iPhone alarm clock. And they will smoke up together with the Moonlight Shadow. Trying to find one baited target. The tension here between both teams now at an all-time high. Just taking out free damage here on Miracle. This is where he goes for... Oh, he actually yeah, he went for the extra static link damage steal. Which means he can steal Rapier damage if he gets the full channel out. TNC may have to consider going for smoke. Both teams playing around the Roche pit now. And Fiora is just going to push out the top. You know, this is about who can control the creep waves better. Bottom as well is kind of even now. You see Cuckoo and Fiora both having the same idea. Both pause two players trying to get up. But Fiora might actually, actually end up dying here. He popped his BKB already. Even with the Scorch stuff, he actually may end up dying here. Looking for the ghost ship. It's going to connect. The world connected to two. Yes. It's going to but the juke from the Phantasm. And actually clipping into the back line, looks like they will bring down Velo at long last. Miracle will have to run, even if it's BKB, it's about to expire as well. And meanwhile, Fero's still pushing out the top lane, he wants to get some Rat Daughter out. But Miracle being caught by the shards from Tims! The snowball as well, Miracle is going to be brought and sandwiched between all these Raven illusions. And the Raven sandwich will be force fed to Miracle. Diving inside the enemy base, Afro Moosh. Raven does not like Afros, man. What can I say? Right now, this is where they are forced to rat. They're going for the tier 3 towers. Fortification will be forced out. Double buybacks from the Doom and the Razor. Starstorm just to mess around with the illusions to get the creep clear out. Very close call here if you're Warriors Gaming. If they did not... the arrow they need to take this ages this time i mean the mir you don't want you don't want this game to be lasting that long but as the game passes the 30 minute mark without a lane of racks to your advantage warriors gaming i've run out of pretty much time oh bounty the time Right, so Fero can afford his ethereal blade. He does have buyback. Probably going to save it as well. Buyback is everything at this point. Choosing to go for the 12% spell amplification. Taking care of the illusion. They know that Roshan is happening. Can they take this out quick enough? That is the question. Jeeva's got to be built up for Velo, but at this rate, the ages, they may actually be able to contest this in time. TNT, can they make it? When the Moonlight Shadow will be popped, Aphromoosh will sacrifice himself, he will end up going down. Cheese, oh, trying for the, the, trying for the steal. Miracle and Fero still stuck inside. You need to get out. They pop the dust. Miracle may actually end up dying here. He has the Aegis, he's gonna get forced out by Raven. Aegis is popped. They have to fight here, they don't have a choice. They need to take care of the illusions. Arrow's gonna miss, looking for the Snowball play, trying to bomb here to Miracle. He's gonna pop the BKB by Raven, once again, sandwiching Miracle. And he'll be forced by another Raven sandwich and Raven on the Mega Kill streak, chasing out the Fear now. Chip trying to block him off the shots. He actually will successfully connect. And with no buyback on the Razor for 90 seconds, TMC may have just done it right here as Cuckoo's already pushing out the middle wave. And TNC should be able to take this with four heroes down, no buyback on anybody in the side of Warriors Gaming. 
And don't forget, Mirana did commit to the Ethereal Blade earlier on. Look at that tower fall. That'll be one lane of barracks. Probably. Radiance middle barracks are under attack. Easy tier 3 tower. TNC have just done it, I think. 2 0. Yeah, you have to play against this disadvantage whether you like it or not. They will take the tier 3 tower as well. Mega creeps here for TNC. With this illusion gaming, they have destroyed Warriors Gaming's base. What does Aphromoosh do? That's all he can do. That's all he can do is sing and dance, try to cheer the team up, fight against Mega Creeps. Miracle has fought against Mega Creeps before on the Radiance Lifestealer with Manta style. Everyone questioned it, but he made it work. Not a Naga. Is this where we start building into Razor, Radiance, and Manta style? So unfortunate with all those illusions. And that's all WG are going to be scarred with an illusion. All of invisibility. Now they will go for shrines, double damage waiting at the bottom lane. They just need to go for one more push. Raven of an MKB. Fat, fat boy. Might even find one pussycat in the bottom lane. Already using the Kofi to proc to get the reality rift and the cold ice blast as well. Down goes Fero ice blast away. Using the spirit vessel. Fero is dead. What is that? Ra what the? Yeah, that range though. Alright, so, you know, easy kill. No bad. Miracle still has the cheese, but it's gonna have. Alright, so going here, they would just demolish Velo. I mean, nice and easy, right? Shit's gonna come in, it's not gonna land into anything but the creeps. Going for the Doom here onto Sam H, but they would just right click Velo down nice and easy. Nothing to do, nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Like I said, nothing to see here. Cuckoo, fountain diving, goodbye. I mean, TNC is happily standing inside the fountain. And it will be GGWP 2 0.